Good evening, everyone. Shalom Aleichem. Uh, thank you for joining, uh, joining uh, me this, this evening. Uh, my name is Hirsch Michal Chin. I recognize, I know most people here, and not every, everyone. I'll try to speak up, okay? Um, so first of all, I want to I, I, I thank Stuart for, uh, for giving me this opportunity to, to look into something, to give me homework, or to look into something that, uh, that, that I look at regularly, but not you know, only on the surface, and an opportunity to look at philos to look at Siddur, any part of davening, something that uh, we look at 365 days a year. And I often think about the time we spend on various halachic topics that come up once, twice, three times a year, eight times a year. And yet when it comes to davening, something we're supposed to do three, three times a day at least, 365 days a year, somewhere in first grade they gave you a Siddur, and from then on, then on you're supposed to know what to do with it. If you were in the bathroom that day, that's it for the rest of your life, you don't know what to do with Shemun Esri. Um, that, that it's, it's very often davening is something that we really don't pay enough a, attention to. Uh, I forget the exact uh, topic, sort of the exact the, 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 the tagline for tonight's year. The fine print. The fine print. Better covenant to the fine print. I covenant to the fine print. I'm going to I could add a tagline to the tagline, if you will, um, and I'd, I'd like to to to, uh, to call this the, the, the topic uh, the teacup and the garter. Uh, I brought both both stage props. And if I don't get back to it, please remind me. Okay, this is the teacup. This is the garden. Just to clarify. Okay. Um, so in davening, we have our tefillos. We have the set order of prayers that we say. We have the the, shach, the shachris part. Uh, we have before shachris there are the the, mor the morning brachot, the morning brachos. I'm going to flip back and forth. The, the, the educational system here says brachot. I usually say brachos. Um, hopefully it we'll, we'll, won't be, be too confusing. Uh, but we have it, we have the brachos in the morning, we have the karbonos, we have the, the psuki de zimra, parts of the davening that you've been familiar with. And I've been asked to look at sort of the, the prayer to the prayer. I could approach it historically, but I'm not a historian, so I really, I started going in that direction. You know, historically, when did we say l'shem yichod, the hindi muchon and muzuman, when did it start, when does it first appear? That's not my thing. Um, when Rabbi Lyman, when Dr. Lyman is here next, perhaps he'll, 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 he'll discuss it. Uh, but the idea of a prayer to pray is something that is not foreign to anyone, Hasidic or not. Hashem sfasai tiftach ufi agid tehilo secha, a phrase, again, very common. Hashem sfasai tiftach, Hashem uh, open my lips, ufi agid tehilo secha, my mouth should speak your praise. Right? That's the opening line of Shimon Esri of the Amida, and yet we know it's not part of the Amida. It was a very, very early addition to the Amida itself. Hashem opened, now very often, all of us have probably experienced times when we've opened our mouths and what came out was not exactly praise to God. Very often, or at least occasions, sometimes we open our mouths, and it isn't even what we intended to say or intended to be heard. So to pray, Hashem, let me open my mouth. Hashem, Svasai, Tiftach, not Eftach. Hashem, you, please. Hashem, you open my mouth. Stage one, because on my own, I dare not. Stage two, Ufi Yagit Secha, and that my, my mouth should express your praise. I should be able to accomplish what I hope to accomplish. So the idea of a a prayer in order to pray is, is not something that's foreign. But I was asked to address specifically the phrase that's done that we, they, we noticed before some of the mitzvahs. And usually it's followed by over Pesach or at your Seder probably a number of times. Right, we're going to go to the next, the next prayer. I'm about to do this. There's a... Um, a teacher, a colleague slash colleague of mine, I mean Saul Berman, uh, Saul Berman from Yeshiva University, uh, a wonderful lecture, somewhat left wing, however all people understand, I think he's, he's, a, he's a great lecturer. So I remember I was at one of his classes, and uh, he said it's interesting, Hashem, Hashem gave us a mitzvah, do this mitzvah, fine. After a while, things become rote, Things become habit. I no longer feel excited about doing God's word. 
we need to do something about it. Okay, let's put a bracha to it. So before I say the Lul of an Esrog, which doesn't excite me anymore, Baruch Atah Hashem, Elokei Melech Halam, etc. and so forth. Now, I'm ready. Well, century two down the road, I got the lulav, which didn't excite me so much. I'm now saying, Baruch Atah Hashem, that isn't exactly doing it for me anymore. Okay. The, the, the mitzvah isn't quite doing it. The bracha isn't quite doing it. Hinen, imuchan, umzuman. Okay, we've got level three. Blanket, the third blanket. Because I'm going to do hinen, imuchan, umzuman to excite me about saying the bracha, which is supposed to remind me that I'm about to do the will of a Kodesh Baruch Hu. And then later on, comes the Tikkun Zohar, the Arizal and others, <coughs> excuse me, says, Hinen, imuchan, umzuman ain't cutting it anymore. L'shem yichud kuch b'richud. I'm going to say L'shem Yichud, we'll, we'll talk about what it means. I'm going to say L'shem Yichud, which is going to remind me that I have to say Hinni Muchan Zuman. That's going to excite me about saying the bracha. It reminds me I have to do the will of God. But that's the nature. We're slow learners. And we get used to things. And we need, to, we need constant reminders about what we're going to do on a regular basis. I'm going to do the mitzvah. I'm going to say the bracha. Hinni Muchan Zuman. L'shem Yichud. So the idea, the idea of preparatory types of prayer is not, is not uncommon. So on one hand, why? Why can't I just do it? Do I care if I'm excited about it? I did the mitzvah, six, 13 commandments, tick, you know, tick, 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 did it, done, 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 I'm going to do it tomorrow, uh, finish. Well, it goes back to a machlokas, which I'm really not going to get into much, um, but machlokas and mitzvah, srichas kavon. Do, do we have to have intent? When I do a mitzvah, do I have to think that I'm doing a mitzvah? Or is the fact that I've done it enough? I hate to give a, 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 a very mundane example. How many of us, don't raise your hand please. How, but has it ever happened, and don't raise your hand, your middle of Shemona Esrei, and then you get, one second, did I, did, did, I, did I say, Atachon before? I must have, because I just did this. Do I remember saying it? No. Do I remember doing this? No. But I did this, so I must have done that. So it means I was, I was, I was on autopilot, or, 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 or you know, wait, my, they, 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 tell, they tell, I don't know, it's an urban legend or a joke, that somebody, somebody was set like this and was, was waiting there. He stopped, he seemed very, very confused. And I said, what's the matter? He said, I don't remember if I'm starting Shemeser or finishing Shemeser. <laughs> It's, it's a joke, but, but it's, you know, it's a shame of the It's not so funny. Because there are times when we, we must have done it because we're here, but do I remember? And if so, does it count? Does a mitzvah need kavana or not? If I picked up a little of an esri, oh, right, baruch Can I still say the baruch? Because I've already, I've already held a little of an esri. Maybe the act itself is sufficient. Interesting discussion. The, 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 the Rambam, the Rambam in Marnabuchim is discussing the idea, he goes, that they really, the Shofanar talks about the idea of mitzvah tzrichos kavana. You really do need kavana, certainly, to fulfill the mitzvah with its appropriate pieces, with two, eye, you know, with two eyes and nose and a mouth and a hand. The mitzvah begins, it has to have kavana, at least, that I'm fulfilling the wish of God. According to many, certainly the mitzvah Yerabonon, uh, if you don't have kavan, you still fulfill the mitzvah. I don't want to get into the halachic issues, but it's a, it's a very interesting halachic discussion. If mitzvah tzrichos kavan, do I have to have kavan? I'm not even getting into, into some metaphysical kind of kavan or kabbalistic stuff. Just kavan. Hello, harsh, you're doing the will of God. Right? Remind us. Remind me. So we have this idea if mitzvah tzrichos kavan or not. So there's, there's one thing, the idea of before I do a mitzvah, I have to know that I'm doing it. That's important. So that's one approach to the shaymichud as a way of a text to remind me. There's also something called hachan. What's hachan? Preparation. Hinni muchan umuzuma. Okay, I'm prepared and ready. And they're not the same. I can be ready, but not prepared. I can be prepared, but not be ready. Hinni muchan umuzuma. So there's, I have to be ready to do something. 
I can pray, but if I haven't done my homework, how do I expect to do my job properly? Do I just walk into a mitzvah? There, there's the, a, 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 an example when my Rebbe used to say, my Rebbe used to say, yeah, yoga in the sukkah, and like a, a, a Greek in the sukkah, just falls into the sukkah. Yeah, you know, here I am. Is that, is, is that how we do a mitzvah? With no hacham? Or do mitzvah tzvichas, do they do they need kavana? Do they need hacham? Do I need intent? And do I need some type of prep, a preparation? Chassidim, beginning with the teaching of the Baal Shem Tov, put a lot of stress on the Kabbalistic rooted area of Hachana Lemitzvah. Hachana for Mitzvah became a very, very important a focused part of doing the Mitzvah. You did not, in, in the Hasidic world, you didn't do a Mitzvah without some type of Kabbalah before. Some type of Kabbalah, actually, and Hachana before. Gartel. Okay, Hasidic custom, Gartel. Interesting, um, see the custom that's mentioned in Shulchan Aruch. Okay, why, why do we wear Gartel? Anybody? Yeah. Separate. Separate? Uh, uh, the high, the upper body, lower body, okay, our elevated, our elevated impulses, our less elevated, elevated impulses, are the, the divine, the, the very physical, 100% correct. Which is why in Shulchan Aruch, it says, you know, it talks about the idea of the separation, and bismaneno in our days, because we're not walking around with you know with with a with a tutu with a with a not a tutu not a, 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 a with a big floppy dress a um, mumu not tutu mumu I don't know, right 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 vowels wrong consonant right we're not walking around with a loose mumu which halachically is a problem you can't daven we'd have to belt it we all naturally we we, we wear wasted things um, so we halachically to our separation we're covered. So, what, what, so what's this about? I'm covered. He comes with Hashem Elokecha to be prepared to serve God. We find by going back to the prophets that they would gird their loins that the Elio and Abiyah was forever girding his loins. I don't know what sure what a gird was, what loins were when I was in elementary school, but he was forever girding his loins, right? And that the, the idea of he comes with Hashem Elokecha I'm, I, to do something because I'm about to serve the Rebbein Shalom. So I have a baguette, I have some, some type of garment that I put on when I'm about to perform a mitzvah. It's sort of tactile, the Shem Yichud Kud Shibarichu, right? It's, I'm not saying the Shem Yichud, but I'm doing something, remind me, I'm about to serve God, I'm about to dive and I'm about to do it for a mitzvah. I'm going to remind myself, and yes, it's a separation, it's an added separation between above and, above and below, but more importantly, it's a very physical activity that reminds me I'm about to do a mitzvah, because we need it. So there's the, all of these things, the Shemichud, the Hedimuch, the Muzuman, is besides, besides the Kavanah part of it, there's also the Hachana part of it, preparation, I need to do something, we need to, to do something. It's interesting, if the, the, the two main, I would say certainly for, 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 for the men, uh, the two main Meshem Yichos, Hini Mukhrim Zuman, that's often said, uh, is before putting on towels and before putting on tzvim. And we, if we have time, you may look at them. You look in Shulchan Aruch, okay? You, you look in, 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 in Simen Ches, in Sochot Tzitzis, uh, in in Simon uh, in Simon Chavhei Hilchas Tfil, it talks about Yechavin. When you put on your tzitzis, you should be Mechavin. You know what the kavan is supposed to be. When you put on Tfil, what is the kavan supposed to be? And you're supposed to have a kavan. It doesn't say something about the Shem Yichud. You're not obligated to say to say the Shem Yichud because again, that comes um, the, the the practice is much more chesedet and sfaradi and kabbalistic in the, in nature. But the, we have, but the Shulchan is very clear, you're supposed to know what you're doing. And, and those two, the Shem Yichud for Tzalas and Tzvillim, especially the one for Tzvillim, I may, I may have to learn through that one, because it's so beautiful. It really tells us, whether we wear Tzvillim not so for men or, 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 or women, the idea of what's behind it. It's, it's very, very important, and, and, it, and the, 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 it's very clear, and the language is very beautiful. So hopefully we'll be able to get to it. But the idea that mitzvahs, that the mitzvahs uh, need kavana and the mitzvahs, also need hachon. Let me go back to the Rambam. So the, the Rambam, we, we said the Rambam holds the mitzvah strichas kavon. Now interesting, there's a Rambam, the Rambam also talks about why do we do mitzvahs? What's the point? And it's going to play a role in our, in our discussion. 
who, who, who are we doing something for? The Rambam says very clearly that the point of the mitzvah is to elevate the person. The Rambam says, Hashem care. Hashem, does, is it doing him or God? If you shef the animal on his neck, you shef it on his tail, you poke it, you, you stab it, you God, you know, and, and but the Kaddish Baruch Hu, is it doing anything? No, it's for us. Mitzvahs, HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Rata HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Zakah says, Yisrael, Lepichoch, Hiro, Lohem, Kari, Mitzvahs, Hashem wished to give us, to, to purify us, to give us chusim, to give us merit, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave us opportunities of connecting with Him, with, with, with HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it's for us, and that's what Mitzvahs are, are, are about. It's, it's God's way of giving us a, a, the road to self-improvement. Fine. The Ramban, and others, Shlokosh and, and, and others, say no, that the, 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 uh, the, the mitzvah, <coughs> the mitzvah, the, the mitzvahs are ra ra rather there, and the Ramban uses the language, the tzorach gavoa, for the needs of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. They're, they're a, a difficult idea. HaKadosh Baruch Hu it, it needs nothing. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is capable and is, is complete. Hashem Echad, Echad, Yochad, Yuchad. There's no oneness like God because of God. There's no bits and pieces. HaKadosh Baruch Hu is complete, is, was, forever is. That, that Yuchad, whereas human beings decompose, we, we fall into pieces and components. HaKadosh Baruch Hu does not. So we have nothing to add. We cannot detract or add to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Yet the language of the Ramban is... That on the level of Ein so the level on the infinity of God, which I don't begin to understand, but I'll use the terms because that's what, that's what rabbis do. Um, so we'll use the terms. Um, on this eternity, infinity of God of Ein so God is complete. But on a way that HaKadosh Baruch Hu relates to us, HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us opportunities to be marbek kvot shemayim, to increase the glory of God in this world. So according to the Ramban, and, and, and the Reina Bachter says something similar as well, that the purpose of, uh, of mitzvahs is that Kodesh Baruch is giving us opportunity in a sense to give glory, to increase Hashem's presence in this world. Okay? Now based on that idea, uh, the, the, the fact that Kodesh Baruch gives us the, gives us the, uh, the opportunity, um, that's where the L'shem Yichud is going to come in. Following the idea of the, of the Ramban, and the Arizal, the Arizal follows the, the, that, that reasoning uh, because, in a sense, we're going to do something for a Kaddish Baruch Hu, so to speak, Kaviyoch, as if to say. So, therefore, I need to know what I'm doing. If it's just for me, my self improvement, then that's, it's my business, not God's business. But it's up to me. And if I'm doing something for the Rebbein then it, then, it's, then it's something that I, that, that I have to be careful with. Just, I, I, um, uh, the idea of the mitzvahs, the, the, the hachana of mitzvahs in the Chesidish world, hachana is very, very important. Um, I just have actually this, this, this past, uh, this, uh, yesterday, uh, what was it? yesterday, it was, uh, I, I, I just came, we, Chai and I just came back from our grandson's bris. Uh, it was a, in, in Pasadena, California yesterday. So, so if I'm a little bit groggy, we're a little bit groggy, it's, it's kind of, and I'm not, it, was, it was all night, it loves me. But um, seeing it, seeing the Brisson just again parenthetically, the baby's name, you know, the baby's name was Moshe Eliezer, after my grandfather Moshe Eliezer, Ben Ben Sion Ben Hershmichum, okay, who is named, and he, the grandfather he's named after Moshe Eliezer was Ben Ben Sion Ben Hershmichum as well. So the three generations, it was a, it was a nice aside of three generations of names. Uh, it was another another cycle. But the, at the Brisson, we're sitting with a a Chassidish fellow came came, came to the Bris. And I forget who, who, who said it about. He was sharing, he's a Satmar Chos, and he was, he was sharing ideas from the Satmar Rebbe. I'm not sure if this story was for the Satmar Rebbe, who davened very late, because they see the Shirul, if you're familiar, davening is late, not because they're getting up late, at least that's not what it's supposed to be. Now, the Rebbe's, I can tell you, are not getting up late. See them, I won't speak for. But, uh, but, it, but what's supposed to be, I remember in Skver, when davening was 10 o'clock, they said the entire Sefer, Sefer Tillman before davening. So, yes, davening was 10 o'clock. But they weren't starting, they weren't waking up at a quarter to ten. They said an entire book of Tehillim before Davin on Shabbos morning. In any case, someone, someone once asked the Rebbe, Rebbe, you Davin so late, past his mind, what's my, Chachana is you're making like two hours preparations. So instead of starting at six in the morning, right, and making, making four hours of Chachana till ten, once you start at midnight, you start at two in the morning, make Chachana till six, and Davin at six o'clock. It's out of the Zika, and I've got the right time, right? Same mathematical question, it's a good, good idea. I said, they're making a mistake. 
Hachana is a part of the mitzvah. Hachana, the preparation is part of the mitzvah. And mitzvahs have set times. You can't do the hachana, you can't do part of the mitzvah when 12 o'clock at night is not time for shachris. I can't do the hachana for shachris until shachris time. And that's how far the idea of hachana preparation as being part of the mitzvah in Hasidic thought is very much a part of the mitzvah. You don't just, oh right, it's, you know, it, it's, uh, it's uh, mitzvah time, shake the lulu and we're done. No! The garatl, the shayimu yichud, the muchud, the mezuman, and that's part of the mitzvah. So again, so according to the Ramban, and the Rabbeinu Bachia, and the Arizal, when mitzvahs are, are our opportunity to add to the glory, to the Akash Baruch's presence in this world, comes the Shem Yichud Kuch If you if you look on uh, in the, if you have art scrolls uh, art scrolls sitter in, uh, in front of you on page four, I think it's a, okay. that's I think the first l'shem yichud. Mm -hmm. um, generally, you find l'shem yichud by Talis and Tefillin. You find it um, before before Spiros Omer. You find it before Lulav and Esther. Those are the main l'shem yichud. You have, you have the little hini muchan muzuman all, all over the place, but l'shem yichud kuchiv richu. Most of, the, most of this language, I will admit, I don't know what it means. Because it's Kabbalistic language referring to Kodesh Baruch Hu. We can translate, I can read, the, I can read the English as well as you can, and perhaps we can discuss it a bit. But the idea, Lishem Yichud, okay, he says, for the, for the sake of unification, of bringing together the idea that there's a Rebani Shalom, the aspects of the Rebani Shalom throughout the world, the aspects of the Rebani throughout all of us, all of our Neshamos, our separate Neshamos, come from different connections to the Rebani Shalom. Yud, K, Yud, and the He, and the Vov, and the He, names of HaKadosh Baruch which I don't know what this means, but this is the language, whatever that means, the name of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, each letter has different, has, has each letter has an infinite possibility of the essence of divinity in that letter. I remember my Rebbe once told us that in the golden age at Tzfas, when you had the Gersim Cairo, the Yath of Shulchan Aruch, the Arizal, you had the Al Sheikh, you had Shlomo uh, um, Alchemist, the, the, the author of, of, of the Chadodi and, and the Kabbalists, and you know, the golden age at Tzfas. So he said the Arizal used to say Adrasha. And the Beis Yosef, Gersim Cairo, who was quite, uh, beside Tom Kohan, quite the Kabbalist on his own right. Okay, no slouch. He used to go to the drasha, he used to fall asleep. And he felt very bad, it's not, it's not covered, you're not respect. The Beis Yosef, Yosef Kair used to fall asleep at the Arizal's drasha. And he went to my rabbi, I apologize. You know, how, many of us, how many of us apologize? Okay, not that anybody falls asleep. Um, but he, there he said, so the Beis Yosef went to, went to apologize to, to the Arizal. Arizal said, you don't need to apologize. He says, everyone's Nechelech HaNeshama, everyone's Nechelech comes from a different connection with the Rebbe HaNeshama. Different connection. And I relate to different things that you don't and then vice versa. He says, you're, so the result told me, shows that, although he's a great Kabbalist, he said, you're Shoresh HaNeshama, you're rooted in the halachic aspect of the Rebbe HaNeshama. The other things don't, don't turn you on, so to speak. That's not, that's not where your Neshama is at. That being said, he's still with the great Kabbalist. He said, that, but the, see that the Rizal says, so what I'm saying, that doesn't, that doesn't, it's, it's, it's not pulling at the heartstrings of, of, of your Nisham. So the fact that you fall asleep, don't, you know, it, that's okay. You know, that, that's, that's, this isn't, this isn't your thing. So liyach, the shem yichud, so first of all, you think yichud, kuchi berichu, ushchinte. Kuchi berichu, hakadosh baruchu, the blessed, the, 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 the holy one, blessed be he. That's referring to the Ein Sof, that's referring to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, that, is, that, that we cannot relate to. We know in the ten spheros that we talk about during the of Omer, the ten sort of the orbs, the spheres, the emanations, the way we, 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 we relate to HaKadosh Baruch Hu, there are really ten spheros. Uh, and if, you know, if, if you're not familiar with this, don't worry about it, I'm not going to spend time on it. Seven out of the ten that we talk about during the of Omer relate to this world. Three of the ten are beyond us. That's... that's I don't know, beyond my pay, my, my pay grade. I don't know what he's talking about. Chesed, the word, Tverus, that's a holy so Malchus, we can talk about. Chachabim and Das, not for, not that's Keser, that's somewhere else. 
He says, the Kutche Baruch Hu is the part that we can't relate to. Shechinte, the Shechina, Shochein, Mishkon, neighbor, how are you doing? Sit next to me. Shechina, God's presence. That I can, that's the part of Kutche Baruch Hu I can relate to. Not understand, but relate to. I can talk about it. And I, when I do a mitzvah, the Shein Yichud, Kutche Baruch Hu and Shechina, I want to bring those ideas together. The idea of a Kutche Baruch Hu that I can't relate to is beyond anything that I can relate to. And you end the Shechina, when I perform a mitzvah, again, following ideas of the Ramban, that I have to, something to do for HaKadosh Baruch Hu, in this world, I can bring together through, through Maisa, a mitzvah, through this action, I can bring together these as, aspects of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that are, that, are, that are unrelatable and those that I, that, that, that I can relate to. I can put them together. That's, I can do that. We are that powerful, so to speak. Klal Yisrael is so powerful. There is a, a term called a poel dimyoni. A poel dimyoni is a Kabbalistic term for, for symbolic action. We're a, we are able to do something here and the switchboard in heaven lights up. We can, with that, that's a koyach, that's the strength, the energy, the spiritual energy that we have. We are able, in a sense, to bring together kuchrecho and and bring it together in this world. So say, before I do a mitzvah, I'm going to do an act that's going to bring HaKadosh Baruch Hu's presence more into this world. And that's the idea of the Shem Yichud. Kuch I'm going to bring together HaKadosh Baruch Hu and, and, and the Shechina. And bring it B'Shem Kol Yisrael. B'Shem Kol Yisrael, yes. Because each of us together, right? V'Amech Kulam Tzadikim, a nation in our entirety are, are righteous because individually each of us is lacking. There's no Tzadik, there's no full Tzadik amongst us. Some of you may be very close, but not complete. And only when we are together, the Amech Kulom in their entirety, or is, is it is it side? And so together, we are, when I connect with I would call yourself all of our neshamas, which which emanate from different parts of Yud K Vav K, so to speak, the same our Shorish Hanishama, the root of our souls that come from different different sources, different um, different. Um, it's a different foundation that Kodesh Baruch Hu's name um, so that when we come together and we bring together and form Yud K Vav K because of our Nishamas in different places that's, when, that's the power that we have and that's the idea of before I do a mitzvah the Shem Yichud Kuch Berichu Ushchim Tevichim or the Chimot that I, I, I'm, I'm able to do this mitzvah together I can put it on film and I can bring it I can do it since, like whichever mitzvah that, 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 that I can do because there's the underlying belief that we have a role to play um, and uh, I, uh, I, I guess I sort of re reminded the Dr. Tversky uh, in one of his very, very early books called, called Let Us Make Man. Uh, and there in the, the title he, he, he quoted uh, teaching of the Baal Shem Tov, that when the Baal Shem Tov, he said in Bereshis, when, when Akash Baruch said, Nasa Odom, let us make man. So who is he talking to? Rashi says he was talking to the heavenly hosts in the court. And it, there was a lesson in, in management that Rashi says that Baruch was teaching us. Hashem said, Kosh Baruch was telling us that we have a role to play in the forming of the, of the, of the mensch. Nasa, Kosh Baruch said to us, Nasa, us together, Kosh Baruch Hu, Kutsh Baruch Hu, Shchintek, and us together, we can, we, we can, be, we can be a mensch. And the role, because we have a role, to, uh, we have, a, again, in the Hasidic thought, certainly we have a, a role to play uh, in, in, in the, in, in the Shem Yichu, in, in, in bringing out Kosh Baruch's presence. Don't let me forget the cup. Okay. So, we should all say it, right? Yeah. What? My question is, how do we say it? What okay. do we say it? Ah, okay. We meaning? Okay. Okay. I thought, I thought, I, I would say, I'll, I'll, I'm going to add to your question. We had a of any of us, because you'll, as I'm, we're, thank you for the segue. Um, because a lot of people help, a lot of great people, See them and not see them like, oh, don't say it, Shem We shouldn't be saying the Shem Okay? Why not? We don't know what we're talking about. Why? Very presumptuous of me to talk about Yud Ke Vav Ke, Hashem, Elokim, Shechite, bringing the Sphere. What are you talking about? Are you kidding? We may, first of all, we, may, we, 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 don't, we don't know what we're talking about. Uh, 
Maybe it's, it could be Ms. Ayers lying down. I'm going to be, uh, I don't that kind of know who. I, I don't understand what I'm saying, and maybe it's even lying. I'm not going to do this. It's not my kavana. I don't wish that. I'm just, I'm waiting. To, my kavana is, is dominating over here. My kavana is, you know, I, is, is, you know I, I, if I don't bench a little bit of I can't, I can't, eat, you know, can't eat breakfast. I, I covered my uh, very, very holy Jew. So when, he, when he was in camp years ago, I mean, before he used to eat the soup, this was, uh, he used to say, he used to say, the cover shop is kodesh. And this guy is, this guy is the real deal. And he, but he said, one of his families next to him used to say, ah, cover shop is kodesh, you meant your stomach. Like, well, what, what, what do we mean? I really, do we really mean for Hashem's sake, or do we mean for the guy next to me, the person next to me to see? So, in amongst, amongst great halachic poskim, chassidic and chassidic, there are many who said, don't say the shem We don't know what we're talking about, we may be lying, we're sort of o- overreaching, could be saying things that uh, are messing in things that we don't know what we're talking about. And, and regarding women, whether it's the shem or the Himimuchan and Muzuman, women, first of all, they can say the shem can say the same, the same the shem It's interesting that not many of the mitzvahs start with the Himimuchan and Muzuman, the Himimuchan and Muzuman. Same, same, same language. Um, so so, so they, they, they can, but even if you start from the hidden Muchan and Zuman, the idea, the, the, the idea that, I'm, that, I'm, I, that I'm connecting with the mitzvahs, that takes care of the Kabbalah. The Kabbalistic side of it, the, 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 bring the, the unity of Yudke and um, I think I have to think more about that. I, I don't, I don't want to blow off the question. It, it, it deserves more thought than that. Um, <coughs> So you had the, the, the Knight of Yehuda, which was a was famous Hungarian poet. The Knight of Yehuda wrote very strongly um, against it. And I just want to quote a little bit of the Knight of Yehuda. He says, the child's shoes in your day, and he says, but the Reyn Uzeh, he was a very strong anti Hasidic movement. But the Reyn Uzeh, Ozu Torah Sashem, the Kormaim Chaim, and he said, people have abandoned the Torah of the Yehuda. The, the wellspring of, of, of life, which they've abandoned the Tambavu, the Tambavu, the and they're coming up all the, with these, these new ideas. And he, 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 and he says to the person who asked the Shaila, you know, you know, the person in question addressed him, like, which, which language do you use? He said, instead of asking which language, ask me if you should say it. But you shouldn't say it. Yeah, very strong. Even the the, 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 the clothes of the rabbi quoted his Zayn, the, the, the Sanzer, who, who said not to say it. He didn't even say it for, for, because it's because of, again, overstepping, over a possibility of the line, all kinds of reasons um, why, why perhaps we, we, we shouldn't be, should be saying it. The Gra, the only gun, interestingly enough, the Gra comes to a sort of a, 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 a compromised position of it. It's important for a person to know what, what they're about to do. So he says, when, he says, mitzvahs that have a bracha. He says, so the bracha, you're supposed, it should remind you what you're about to do. He says, the mitzvahs that don't have a bracha, you should at least say, I'm about to do hini muchan and zuman to, to do this mitzvah. Because we do have to draw, uh, we do have to remind ourselves of, 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 what, of what, we are, what we are about to do. Now, are we lying? When we, when we say, I'm going to do this kavana, with the kavana bringing them. I was not, is is not, who and others are they right in terms of? Well, I'm not judging the right or wrong. It's, I'm, kind of, I'm not going to get into that. But uh, but but for ourselves, are we lying? And uh, and I'm, I'm reminded uh, the the, the, the uh, I'm reminded my, my father zechon the brocha. I, mean, I, I often tell this on on, on Sefer We sing I know Avdu the Kuchavarich. One of the songs we sing uh, in, in Hakavas. I know I know I know Avdu. I am a servant of God. So. My, my father, Chandra Baruch, quoted his Rebbe, Rebbe Andalovich, who they sang, when they sang this tune for a while, I know, Abdul the Kutch of I'm the servant of God, he, after they sang it for quite a while, he stopped the Bacham, and he said, and he said, until now, he said, it was, you sang it as a statement of, of, of fact, I am a servant of God. He said, now seeing the other Peshat, it's, it's a tefillah, that let me be, halavai, I know, I wish to be a servant of God. So, so similarly, uh, in, in response to the question of, of I'm doing this kavana, maybe I'm not. Very bonish when I want to. I'm at least expressing that I'm aware that I, that I, I'm a tzelma Kim, that I'm created with the, with, the, with the image of God, that Kashbrocha has given me the spiritual energy 
to bring, to, to create and increase HaKadosh Baruch's presence in this world, I wish I'm up to the task. So whether it's a statement of fact, whether it's a statement of fact, don't worry about it. Because right? there are plenty of feelings like, for example, in Bruch, in, in Bruch Shemek, I know how, we say I know how to the Kush Bible. Which one is it? I am, I wish to be. Or is it both? So similarly, in, in, in the Shem Yichud, it, what, what is this? Or, or is it both? The Baron Chaim on the early Chesidisha sources, he says that's worthwhile saying the Shem Yichud. We may not understand the, the Kabbalistic things. He said, but when we say, we say it's Philo. He said the, 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 the energy that we have, again, the, the idea of the Paul Dimyoni, that we are able to sort of push buttons in this world. When we say it's Philo, HaKadosh Baruch Hu sort of arranges the Kabbalah in the way it's supposed to be. That, that, that we find in most, in most of the Hasidic sources, certainly we, we, we find, uh, we find the, the, with the, uh, the shame, the, we, we say tefillos, although we're not up to that level, so to speak, we're able to say the shame, yuchut kuch merichu. So let's look, let's look at, um, uh, let's look at the, at the Talsim, so let's look at page, uh, just because I think I just, I think it's so beautiful. Um, On bottom, bottom of bottom of, of bottom of page four, going on to page six. Hashem yichud kuch v'richo shchin. Again, I, I I wish to unify, to bring together, and I believe I'm saying that I can. So the Hashem yichud part is the same as as we learned before. The chilu rechim with with trembling and and, and with fear. The yachet shem yud kev above give bring together the names that the letters of the Avakosh Baruch Hu's name. The yichud shulin. The idea of, of unification. We're about to put on film. And he talks about the idea that in the Tzvon Shayyad and Tzvon Shalrosh. And, and I, what I wish, wish to do is I, I want to engage the world of action and the world of intent and thought. I want to engage both of these things in what I'm about to do. And again, keeping in mind the Shem Yichud, coming from the Hasidic perspective, again, echoing the halachic opinion of the Rabban Rabbi Nebachia, that we, that we believe we have the, 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 the ability to, to, in a sense, so to speak, add to the Rabban Rishlam in terms of being Marbek of Shemayim. HaKadosh Baruch Hu, who is without need, and, and cannot be added to, wants something from us, Kaviyochel, so to speak. And Kaviyochel, Baruch Hu, for some reason, goes beyond my limited human understanding, wants the world of my action, wants the world of my thoughts and my emotion, and wants me to bind this together in service of the Rebbe Nishalev. Me. Why in heaven's name, literally, would God want anything from me? And yet on a daily basis, I'm doing a mitzvah, and I'm saying, this somehow accomplishes. We put on the film, we put on the, the, the talis, HaKadosh Baruch, what, what the things that I want to be formed by this mitzvah. And I, I, I mentioned earlier, this is not a new concept, whether you're saying the Shem Yichud, whether it's Hinei Muchad Zuman, whichever level, the mitzvah, the bracha, the Hinei Muchad Zuman, the Shem Yichud, whichever level it is, the tefillah, the tefillah, that I should be able to accomplish something is, is, is something we find across the board. The Chesidish world, not Chesidish world. Like I mentioned, I began with Hashem Tzvaz HaTiftoch. And many of you may know that in another Shmon Esrei, there's another, there's another level of the Tefillah before the Tefillah. Where? Uh, right? In, the, in, the, in Musa or Mincha. Right? Musa or Mincha. Um, right? We, there's, a, there's a phrase that's added. Now that was an added, that was a later phrase, which is why it's only said at Mincha and Musaf, places where you're allowed to talk before Shemitz, right? You're allowed to be mafsik. So I'm allowed to 
Adam, I, it's, it's sort of the, the Hidden Muchan and Zuman, sort of, not, not exactly, before the Musaf, before Musaf Shemin Esra Yemen to talk, before Mincha Shemin Esra Yemen to talk, before Shachas I can't because the middle of Birchas Kriya Shema. Marib I can't because I'm in the middle of Birchas Kriya Shema. So I can't add on an added tagline. Hashem Svasai Tiftach is part of the package, although it's an addition, but it's part of the package. That I can say, Shachas and Marib. Again, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. So whether, a, whether the Hinnin Muchan and Zuma is an issue of Kavana, because Mitzvah is Tzrichas Kavana, as we talked about earlier, or it's an in, in Indian, it's a matter of Hachana. I need to do something. It's like the... Where is it? Okay, who took the garden? I'll get you. I'll get you a garden. Come on. Where's the garden? Anyway, whether whether it's the the hikon of the whether it's an an act of preparation, these are all things that I need to do in order in order to for me the human being who needs reminders. I'm a slow learner. I have layer upon layer upon layer of reminders. It's not it's not my wife who reminds me. Um, but layer upon layer upon layer of reminders, I need it for Kavan. And each of us need to do something physical, something tangible to hold on to. We, 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 have, we are blessed to have a God who is intangible. And that's part of the Animans. And the Kali so soon got themselves into trouble with the ego because they, they were suffering from a lack of something tangible. But we need reminders. I told you that, that I, I, the, the, this, tonight's talk I want to sort of divide. So I. I Gave it another name, the Gartel and the Teacup. Uh, I got to a little bit of the Gartel, but the, the truth of the matter is the Gartel and the Teacup are very, very similar. Okay, if we make this real, how is a Gartel like a Teacup? Um, I, I, for the, I, 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 let me just, uh, I want to take suggestions. Um, some, uh, some of you may have, have heard me say this a while, a while ago. Um, how, 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 how many of you, uh, by raise of hands, ever used a dry cleaner? Uh, over here. Does anybody use drug leader? Um, so, Stuart, can I, when, 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 you, when they give you a, when you give you a slip, notice, not always, very often, if you haven't, if you haven't noticed, rarely do they give you the, the credit card slip, the label hand you the credit card slip. Okay? Scheiches? Mm. yes. What did it do? A while, a few years ago, I was uh, to be at a chasna, um, a, 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 a kid from a key sports, uh, the, the, the family I grew up with, made, they made a wedding, and the chasna is a, ger, a Chinese Gerd Tzedek. And I say Chinese Gerd Tzedek, I don't mean of Chinese descent, because I think of chin or something crazy like that. <laughs> I mean a Chinese Gerd Tzedek that the family spoke Chinese. He, he, he was, he, and he's a black hatter from the Pasea, from the Yeshiva Sheikh, Yeshiva Sheikh. His family is, they don't speak English. And, you know, this, this is, okay? Beautiful chasana. Beautiful, beautiful chasana. I participated under the chuppah, representing, representing my father's chasana, and um, I heard that after, that in the Yichud room, right, there's going to be a Chinese tea ceremony. Now, I should say this from the Kurdish. I only know Chinese ceremonies from, from old movies. Very impressive. You know, I, I, I don't know exactly what, but I knew the, I, I knew the concept of a Chinese tea, tea, tea ceremony. I had no idea what it really was. And I went to the scene. So I asked the, I asked the family, because it was family only, after Yichud, after the Yichud, after the, they, you know, the family came for this the Chinese tea ceremony. I went to see it. He, so she holds, she holds a cup of tea. And it's, a, it's very, very scripted. She holds the Kathy. Mother, would you, this is to the, her, her, new, her, her Chinese in laws. She said, Mother, mother would, you, mother, would you like some Hold the cup, two hands. Mother, would you like some tea? Yes, I would like some tea. And she, and you know, he pours that, that holds her. Then, then he takes it, Father, would you like some tea? And the father accepts it. It's, and then they, they, they exchange gifts. It's a very beautiful little, 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 little ceremony. But I saw something very important. And I, when I, I had a chance to speak at Shavu Brachos a few uh, the, the next day, and I said, there's, there's halacha that was taught there. In benching, you, when you're mechavah someone to bench, ala kois, how do you give them? Do you give them the becher? 
Not really. You give the Becher with two hands. You give the Becher with two hands. The person accepts the Becher with one hand. But if you give the Becher, why? Because it's important. It's double chashuv. And something that's chashuv, no, that's not how you do something that's chashuv. That's how you do something that's chashuv. In the tea ceremony, mother, would you like some tea? Father, would you like some tea? Because it be, if you're going to do something important, you have to think about it. Whether it's a gartel, whatever it is, we need, if, if, um, if it's important, then I need to think about it. You know, so is, is, whether it's, you know, the, we have the, you know, the Hasidic tea, tea ceremony. Uh, see, I put it together. Uh, but the point is to be mindful that the Chazal gave us tools that are going to remind us the feet of, of according, uh, 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 according to the Rambam sheet that we talked about earlier, to remind me that I gotta, I gotta work on me. But really, according to the Rambam, Rabbi Nabachia, and, and the, which the Shem Yichud sort of follows that line of reasoning, to remind me of the role I play by the Rebbein To remind me that Kodesh Baruch was looking for me to do for HaKodesh Baruch Kavayoko, so to speak. And I don't do that lightly. I often do, I often do with that thought. I often finish with, you know, the, am I coming or going? Am I putting the film on or am I taking them off? I'm not sure. Unfortunately, we do a lot of these things mindlessly. But that's not what it's supposed to be. Chazal is very aware of it. So they gave us a bracha to say before the mitzvah because I need the reminder. They gave me hidden muchan muzuman because the bracha wasn't quite doing it. And now I have the shem yichat kuchib that reminds me of my role to play on a spiritual on a spiritual realm. So the, in, in, in the in the in the more, in the chesedish world, where 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 hachana wasn't just the mitzvah, it wasn't the particulars of the mitzvah itself, but hachana was a chelik, was a part of that mitzvah. How I prepare, how I dress. With, with, with the guards, where I put on something that was going to remind me that I'm going to dab. Seating, you'll, you'll find that again, this is brought in Shulchan Aruch, uh, wearing, wearing a hat you know, uh, when, when, when they dab. The idea of a double cover, it's more chashivas, more cover, because I, want to, I need to remind me to take myself seriously. Because the Kodesh Baruch takes me seriously. So that mitzvah that I'm doing that elevates me. Asher Kedushonim in Mitzvah So, Mitzvah Kodesh Baruch Hu has sanctified us and given us this Mitzvah, a commandment, which my Rebbe, when I, when I, when I told my Rebbe Wilson that uh, they talk about Mitzvah, commandment, not just a good deed, he said, well, it's true, but a Mitzvah is a connection, a Mitzvah is a connector. Kodesh Baruch Hu gives me ways, opportunities to connect with the Kodesh Baruch Hu. I can't just do it. I have to, I have to do the Mitzvah. For me, I need the reminder. And, and, and this is to remind the Kodesh Baruch Hu. I'm putting on a guard like for the Rebbeinu Shalom. I'm saying that Himni Mucham Zuma for God. Uh-uh. For me. Because all of us need to be reminded. All of us need to know how important and how powerful we are in the eyes of the Rebbeinu Shalom. The Kodesh Baruch Hu HaKadosh uh, Baruch Hu breathed within us a neshama, a chelik of a coming mouth. It's part of the rebunch of the HaKadosh Baruch Hu when you're dealing with the infinite. There's no such thing as a little infinite. It's infinite. Right? It's, there's no such thing uh, in, in um, Abraham Joshua Heschel writes about that, that you can't have, a, it can't be a, a, a um, when he talks about a God, and, like an, an, an ultimate God. It can't be a little bit of a God. Is he HaKadosh Baruch Hu HaKadosh Baruch Hu? He's not. And HaKadosh Baruch Hu is a Rebbein Shalom. And if HaKadosh Baruch Hu gives us a piece of the infinite, then we have a piece of the infinite within us. And that piece, I'm going to do a mitzvah. I'm going to connect with the Rebbein Shalom. I'm going to be miyachet, kutz v'reichel, and ushchinte. I'm going to be able to bring those things together. Each of us, when our performance of mitzvah, male or female, I have to think about the Shem Yichel for women. I appreciate the question. to figure out how, how that works. But if the text isn't there, doesn't make the connection any less. Why the, why the, why the, it was, um, I, I asked him why, the, what, by, by, by candlelighting, the, the, there's a Yihiratsum, women know there are many two of us have a Yihiratsum, but not a Shem Yichud before. Uh, interesting, I, 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 I don't know why. I, I, don't, I don't want to pretend, I, I, I don't know why. Um, 
But, uh, but these, these are things that we can bear in mind, bear in mind that A, we are important, our, our actions are important, and we dare not forget how, act, how important our actions are. B, mitzvos tzrichos, whether it's kavana or hachana, but mitzvos we don't just do mitzvos, it's a throw, it's not a throw. If, 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 if the Chinese tea, tea ceremony deserves two hands, then our mitzvahs deserve a thought or two before we, before we mitzvah, a, a moment. Chazal said that the Gemara, Gemara said that people used to spend an hour in preparation. You, you, don't, you don't just walk into a, a marathon without, without training, without stretching, without proper preparation. Kal how much more so a mitzvah. If I think, if I think that I'm about to perform something that affects forever, that's infinite, that's connecting with a source of, of the infinite, that I must take it seriously. Uh, so that's, in, in, uh, I would say, coming from a, a, a chassidish perspective like that, that, puts, that, that put a lot of stress on the hachona, not just on the mitzvah itself. Uh, that's just, just some of that, some ideas that, 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 I, that I didn't want, want to share with you. Oh, we have a few minutes left. If I can take some questions. Um, Seward, is that, is that sure, all right? Sure, sure. Um, <coughs> I think, um, I think we got it. So, Hashem Svasa Tifta, Chavir Kitil Asacha, hopefully Akash Baruch Hu is loud and told in my mouth. And I hope what I said uh, gives them some, some pleasure, some, some praise to everybody. Good evening. Thank you very much.